There are tons of things to see and do in the DC metro area and few thrills rival a live sporting event. And there are tons of opportunities to watch live basketball in the DC metro area and I'm going to show you how you can make that happen. Today we'll be at this Maryland basketball game where you're going to see dunks, you're going to see people drive to the basket, and you're going to see folks who are in the paint who just make shots happen. There are a few ways to get to the game. First, you can take the DC Metro to College Park and University of Maryland Station, which is about a mile and a half away from the auditorium. Or, you can take a ride share, which will get to there for about $25 from the District of Columbia. Also, you can drive and park. And if you park, just remember, you have to pay for parking, and it's about six to $10 for parking. I created this channel to inspire folks to go out and see the world. Don't forget to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. If you think Maryland University is not highly competitive in national competitions, you would be mistaken. The men have a national championship in football, they have men and women basketball championships, and they have championships in soccer, women's lacrosse, field hockey, and more. This is a special game for us because Maryland University asked me and my eight-year-old son to be kickoff captain. So we are going to go down to the very floor of Maryland University and we're going to start off this game. So the big question is, how much does it cost to go to a University of Maryland basketball game? And the easy answer is, it all depends. If Maryland is having a great year, you could spend hundreds of dollars. However, if the year is not so-so, maybe they have a 50-50 season, maybe a lot more losses than wins, you could get tickets for as cheap as $5. After my son kicked off the game, we upgraded to these $22 seats and as you can see, it gives us an excellent overall view of the court. Regardless of how well or poorly Maryland is playing basketball, you're going to have an excellent basketball experience. You're going to see the lights, they're going to be cheerleaders, marching bands, pom-poms, the whole entire works. Here's a quick example of what you would see if you were actually there in the stands versus what you see on television. in the game, Corey. He's got the size, but he's not much of a shot block. Oh, so blows by the local only the cross. One of the main reasons why I wanted to come to the game is to not only have the experience, but also to experience the roar of the crowd, to feel the energy in the environment. And even though this auditorium right now is about a third full, and this is about as empty as you'll ever see in Maryland basketball game, the crowd literally was electrifying. When they cheered, it just lit up the whole entire place. It felt like the place was altogether full. This video is being shot with a camera that has a wide angle lens that makes you feel like you're further away from the action. But the reality is when you're there, you're literally on top of it. You feel like you're right there. And it's an awesome feel. So I started off with $6 tickets and I upgraded to $22 tickets. Was the $16 upgrade worth it? In my opinion, yes. I felt like I was closer on top of the action. What if I enjoyed the game if I was uh, in those $6 seats? The answer, yes. 
I created my channel to explore fun and interesting things that can be done in the DC metro area for individuals and families. Please see my channel for tons of other ideas that you can do at low cost.